Do you know, I absolutely fucking laugh. I've seen the comments today off this woman, yeah. <clears throat> and they see what they're doing, and I've noticed what they're doing, is they don't know me. They're talking about things that were talked about in the judgment, right? So when they make comments like filthy home and everything, they, they're talking in a conversation to me as knowing me from a judgment and watching lives to reaction of how people treat me. So anyway, I laugh my head off at the thought of people saying that my house is filthy. So I thought I would just prove a point for a second just to show how vile, evil and nasty and the different standards of a social worker coming into somebody's house. Now, please, if you have never experienced this, fuck off. For people who have experienced this, you would know what I was talking about. Bam, 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 bam. All of a sudden, you've got two police officers, two social workers, potentially more than that, up to a riot van, up to a whole fucking ward of police at your front door. The reason that you've got that is because you've got some person who's sitting across, who's seen you on a bad day or you've got someone that you've had a fallout with or you've got somebody who fancies your husband or you've got someone who just genuinely doesn't like you or you've got someone who doesn't even know you but listens to gossip about you or you've got just someone who just doesn't fucking like you so what they do so i have proved today that this person on social media his it, who is this person in the accounts is it's not the original me my name is kelly cotton oh, you will have the blue circle on my thing very soon i've just got to do something with my passport and my driving license and then you will have all of the authority authentication that says that this is Kelly Cottom. Kelly Cottom is my divorce name and I've had it since 2004 when I got divorced because I kept my two older boys name. So anyway, because you hear a lot of people in networks of social services that have got their kids, whether they're in foster care or have been forced adoption, you will hear a lot of them talking about statements and going, it's a lie. Now, university students learn from a book, psychology learn from a DSM-5, it's an SPS database, right? It's based on hypothesis. Everything that you're dealing with in a judgment, so please remember the person who's talking to me online who has proved that they have made these anonymous calls. So you've all been getting a reaction going, what the fuck is this woman doing? No, 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 no. So what a gaslighter does is they'll trigger you and then they'll point fingers. Trigger you, point fingers. Trigger you, point fingers, right? And this happens to a lot of men, by the way, who end up giving what I call the bitch slap. And the bitch slap is not domestic violence, it's the bitch slap. In fact, it's actually somebody else. I've never been bitch slapped. I've been hit by... I've, I, I have been in what is called... I've taken a beating in DV and I've witnessed a horrendous DV. But I have never, ever, ever been a woman who's been locked in a cupboard, who, who's been abused to all sorts of fucking levels. Now... Let's take, I'd love to go to my next doors right now and go and show you through their window and show you what true filthy is. It would be put on a fucking emergency plan program, right? So anyway, you can, you'll can you be able to see, I haven't touched anything, I haven't done anything, I've left exactly what is in front of me right now. So as you know, yesterday I had a flood, but today, it's not my day to do it, but what I do is every new season... There has to be, unless there's water going on, you know when you get a coffee spill and you know you've got to pull out the cup, the oven. Now, for someone like me, it injures me, so I don't like to do this thing that often. And this is where I feel that the services should be focused on by saying to people, right, like there's a lot of old people here, yeah, that can't clean out their houses because... Oh, battery, so I just want to do this quickly because I'm in the middle of stuff. I've taken off my sofa things. I've got my hoover ready to literally do this. And now what I do, I haven't got time today, so I'm going to go under. Oh, actually, no, I'm going to have to, I'm afraid. I'm going to have to. I'm going to pull my sofa out live before my battery goes. In fact, hang on. Let me just get my battery and put it down there a sec. Oh, fuck me neck. <clears throat> I just want to prove a point. 
It's like proving points. <laughs> Let me get my charger that's on my bed. Right now. I'll just put an extension because I'm cleaning, All right? Now also I have a safety trip switch in my electric, so if anything was to happen, if a fucking rat came in my house, which I don't have, <laughs> um, I'm burnt through with them, a trip switch would go. So anyway, I just want to show the terminology that they're using that's in my judgment because I was at a place called Save the Family. Yeah, my charge's gone on. So I was at a place called Save the Family where all my stuff was in storage. Everything from my four bedroomed house was in storage. And I hadn't even gone and got as much stuff as I had at this particular point. I'd only just gone and got a couple of kitchen bits. I think Graham would actually help me out. And, and Cara had helped me out by bringing a couple of boxes up and giving me a hand with the boys' personal stuff. And I had just enough in a car. No paperwork, nothing like that. I wasn't carrying around paperwork. All my paperwork was all in storage. Um, I just rescued some because I was doing a timeline and I'd already started my timeline ready for my book. And, and this was the second, this was the next version of a book because my mum had gotten in, well, had attempted to get an injunction on the first one. This was when I first went into the media. They all panicked. Um, so anyway, just to prove a point for a second, um, I've taken my covers on, off my sofa, yeah, and I've literally taken these bits off. I wouldn't, I wouldn't cross that line with me tonight. No, bed, bed. I'm not even going to communicate with you, bed. You've been asked, daddy's told you, bed. I will come to you in a minute, bed. Will you sleep on me? No. And you're not going to be in my bed tonight either. No. So I want to go back to this point about key words that are used in judgments. And if people don't know what a judgment is, now we have something called criminal courts, but then we have family courts. Family courts is something completely different to criminal courts. And this is what I've got an issue with. The majority of things like team around the child or a... Um, Sin plan, which is a um, children in need plan, even child protection can all stand. Here she is, my hamster's just coming around. My hamster's come to say hello. Um, can all, hang on. She's so freaking fast. Hang on, I'll catch her in a minute. She's getting so much more friendly to come and sort of see us, but. No, she's just sitting there, I can't get her around. So these things stay in like a conference room, yeah? And when I first got here, I showed you what the conference was room was, which is where I was sat yesterday, yeah? Where you saw me sat with my skates on outside and I'm saying, welcome to your council, right? So that is where evening there, Katrina. Thank you so much for your comment today. I really do appreciate it. Well, it's hard for me to carry on. It's like, it reminds me of the days of having to walk into school. But the difference is these people can physically hit you. These people online can't physically hit me. You know, they're not even big enough to come in their own names and, and accounts and things like that. If I was walking into an office where I was actually facing you all, I wouldn't have come back. It's as simple as that. Hey, a good evening. So anyway, I want to do this because I'm just doing something. I want to prove. So when, so when I was at Save the Family, take this as a prime example, right? The challenge that I was having at Save the Family was they controlled the heating. They had a meter thing to other stuff. So they controlled all of your utilities and everything like that. And you paid a service charge out of your... Um, I wasn't actually on benefits, I was on tax credits, I was self-employed, okay? So, um, 
they're absolute melts Kelly melts I love it thank you they're absolute melts but they're dangerous because can you imagine how I feel inside right now knowing that these people have physically stated that they are doing what's now officially called an outside hours so inside hours is between the hours of nine to five outside hours responds to outside units and response and it goes immediate child protection there's no courts open so they can't go and get a court order unless they go to the queen's bench and open up the queen's bench which is 24 7 so you're dealing with billy john jones little come out of university police officers and social workers and call centers right they don't know you and also a lot of them now are all working from home and it's only real special cases where they do home visits. Some of them, they can't even speak to you from the door. This is still continuing. Most of them are still on what is called, uh, so they've got fast track. I've got to try and remember all of this now. When I've got things in front of me, it's a bit different. When I'm doing boards, most people, what you've got to remember is I'm completely unscripted. There's, there is no script. There's no TV crew. There's nothing. <laughs> oh, fuck a duck. There's, there's, there's no a producer there's no editor that well amber does a little actually amber's dyslexic by the way so for those that know amber is highly highly dyslexic so if amber can do what she does um it's exactly the same as bupesh's wife sam they said that she had severe learning difficulties and it was sam that actually helped me go through my first paperwork at the beginning and wrote something which i, I got something else done but anyway it's it's horrible so anyway <clears throat> At Save the Family, the issue was, like, even Elijah wants me to go and lay with him. Now, please remember, Elijah's been with me for right up until just before five, still naturally feeding, okay? So some of you won't even realise that there was a real problem. When Elijah was taken, he was still being naturally fed. He was literally just edging over to both, and I was, you know, bottles for dad. My mum didn't want my breast milk. <laughs> um, so I was just literally starting to prepare Elijah for going to my mum's, being able to be my mum, things like that. We were in the one bedroom flat. And as you know, originally what, what Dean and I had done was put the bed in the one bed, but it absolutely reeked from cannabis from inside. It was horrible. It came all through the next flat. It come all the way up the windows from people. And we just kind of comatosed ourselves in the living room, had a bit of stuff around us, things like that. And that became sort of like, so initially me and Dean were flipping over washing machines, tumble dryers, different things like that. And we had lots of different things trying to go on, but we kept being forced back to this, what is called a... Uh, child protection conference now they sit around a room and there's a person called a chair right once that happens the person who is the service user no longer becomes the enabled person they become somebody who's got to defend themselves out of a court arena which is not criminal and this is what these people don't understand I'm now asking journalists and many other people to look into how many people, freedom of request can do this really easy. How many people had children removed based on anonymous calls? And this is going to be so easy to do. It's, in fact, Amber, literally, freedom of request, he just emailed exactly that. And in fact, actually, the best person to do that is probably David. Literally, just get that freedom of request as quick as we can. In fact, Sonia Poulton, fastest person to do that. Now, I believe that, and, and it was Dean actually, when we were down at Downing Street, read the book that is basically the foundations of how this system works. And even he said, the foundations of it is right, it's correct, but it isn't being utilised. And the reason it isn't being utilised in that way is because you're asking people, like I'm 44, yeah, and I was stood outside a club last night and someone said, I think it was the troll Charlotte who's sitting here, hello Charlotte, how you doing? I really wouldn't get personal with me right now. Um, and if you do, oh, here she is, by the way. Here she is. <laughs> oh, hang on, she's back. No. And as you're here, and it's you that I'm proving 
are the people that need to change your ways and look in the mirror yeah? and how dangerous you are. Because what you're causing to people, now no police officer, no social worker is going to come to my door right now and no fucker will come to my door while the protective factor is here. And people know he's here, social, you can't fuck about with social. Nobody will mess around with mine and Dean's relationship. We deal with it our pace, our way. We are together for the cradle to the grave of the boys. It's as simple as that. There is no person in this world other than it nearly causing me a hiccup at New Year because it played with my trauma over trusting Dean with his own boys, yeah? Now, at the end of the day, that's about whether in a separation and a divorce, children still have two parents. Now, if they are not married within this system, and this is why this meeting from last Wednesday is so damn important. There are two, three laws, sorry. There are three laws that were put into position after World War. Ship. What are we in now? World War Three. So World War Two. So after World War Two, because of the way it worked with the concentration camps and people who were taking in children from, say, if you remember, Budnet, uh, so let's go back to bed knobs and broomsticks, yeah? So bed knobs and broomsticks, chain full of children, come in, a lady takes them into their house. Now, there were laws to give that person the care and duty of those children and how they applied adoption, yeah? So we're dealing with a whole world of children, whole world whole world of children that deployed in trains, buses, trucks and everything. This takes us back to Sig Higgity. If people don't know who Sig Higgity is, I, Sig Higgity, was the first person to share me the adoption petition for, um, for going to the, no, United Nations. Who went to United Nations? United Nations was my best friend, well, it was, my, was my friend Monique, so she went personally for me as an actual friend. The EU was something that was happening already, and I think it was a couple of months before my children were even taken, and I dismissed it. My attitude was, you've got to have raped, murdered, pillaged, trafficked, drugged, beaten, all sorts of nasty things that I can't even comprehend because if I visualised it, I would be physically sick and I start getting angry and I can already feel my pinion. I don't like people who abuse and hurt children. I am somebody who has lost her innocence at a very fucking young age, mate. So I stand by what I stand by because there are people who have been subjected to far more worse than me. There were children when I very, 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 very first ever got involved in what got involved in only as a fundraiser. Only as a fundraiser because these people need fucking help, mate. There is a black magic belief system that if you have sex with an innocent, you can be healed from AIDS. They believe that if you penetrate any person under six months, and it's an innocence under three, that you will be healed of AIDS. Now, the thing is, once originally these babies were dying from the the horrendousness. I mean, there's a little boy who's had had prosthetic legs because of the horrendousness of being fucked at the age of six months old and what is done to congenital hip dislocation and dysplasia and um yeah he, he was killed in prison with tuna and um these things happen but the thing is these things happen in foster care these children that get dragged out of the houses in nights are done through illegal courts and these people, Charlotte, whoever the fuck she is, yeah, are the people that caused this to happen. This ain't no mental health, yeah. I have got the most amazing emotional intelligence there is. I've learned from the best and he still watches me and still guides me, okay? The best. Anger. Elijah is going to meet. I know I said bed. It's bedtime. It's bedtime. Quick, it's bedtime. And you can't step forward because you know pants on. In the morning? In the morning, yes. Will we get sweeties in the morning? No. Oh. It's a weekday, no. If we be good? No. 
Museums in the morning? Not mon you can't go to the free museums because they're closed on Monday. Don't forget we live in Portsmouth and Monday is the official oh, oh, Monday museums. Monday Monday in Portsmouth is the official everything closed day. Remember this. So the art gallery is actually closed. Yeah. However, the docks is open, but they don't have all the activities because it's Monday. It's rest day on Monday for Portsmouth, remember, and they in still the morning, have in the morning. Yes. And um, we'll we'll uh... So the museum is closed tomorrow, but Tuesday, Tuesday, oh, Tuesday, Tuesday. I will go onto the homeschool list tonight. I'm meant to have done this by seven, well, by sat down with you and what you want to do. There's gymnastics on Thursday. You've got mini club on thing, but it's all dependent on what's local, what's local and what I need the car for. But, um, mummy. Yes. Um, Daddy is also saying bedtime. In the morning, um, I want to go to all the museums, OK? I've just explained to you that on a Monday, it's clo I'll show you on the website, it's closed. It is closed. Thanks, Kai. So, the reason that I'm trying to explain this is even say that, right, it's what, 10, quarter, it's 17 minutes past 10. On a Sunday night, Shiloh's fast asleep, absolutely chaos fast asleep. Elijah is like Liam. Liam used to lay in his bed at night and just, I used to go, Liam, sleep. And it, it was like, he didn't have any telly on, he wasn't reading, he wasn't doing anything. He just didn't sleep at night. Shiloh, very, very much, even Dean is saying, he's aware that he's showing signs of strim, what's called strimming and a few other things, right? And, but with Elijah, his gift, his, like even today, he was talking about the universe. He was talking about um, space. He's, he's absolutely obsessed with the International Space Station. He's obsessed with, I mean, obviously don't forget, he's been raised by the fact that, you know, I've been watching what goes on with SpaceX. And when you're breastfeeding and you're sitting there and you're nurturing and you've got phone and things like that, obviously what goes into their cognitive, um, into their cognition. Yes, I know about Piaget. Yeah, <laughs> Charlotte. Yes, I know about Maslow. Yes, I know about all of these things. Yeah. You know, so when I'm teaching my children, we do it in everyday things. We make breakfast together, we make lunch together, we talk about our bodies, we talk about what we eat. You know, Elijah is going to be so much more oriental. It's it's very clear, you know, very clear, it's very rice. You know, we don't eat pasta. Pasta makes me ill. They do like pasta, Shiloh likes pasta, but it's got to be natural. You've got to remember rice has got plastic all over it at the moment and there's all sorts of stuff going on, but... Um, I'm just doing some reading into it at the moment. Dean's just um, been watching some stuff. So anyway, what I wanted to talk about was this cut and paste. It's the same in adoption letters. It's the same in judgments. That judgment that this person keeps abusing me over, yeah, that's on the website that they're all sharing out, right, is an uncontested judgment. And I've explained why it's uncontested. <clears throat> and it's flawed from day one. And I will explain. When they write initial reports, so say this person put this report through, right? It goes through to a call centre. Now, I've shown you when you're walking down past the fire service where the police one is for here. I know them so damn well. I go, any calls in for me tonight? <laughs> so basically... <laughs> Basically, Charlotte, when you put your call centre in, yeah. <laughs> you know when you go down the road where I skate, yeah? And you know where that fire station is? The police call centre is just behind it. So, you know the people who give me my keys back? And you know the people who found my mobile phone? And then Dean rang into the phone mobile phone. And you know that little room that I dance outside? That's the police call centre. <laughs> So 
so I know every I'll, I'll be going down there in a minute yeah <laughs> and I'll be dancing out the front in there and they'll put the blinds down on me when it's like no just seriously fucking leave us alone there's been no calls tonight but they'll go if there has been yeah and um what you've got to remember is we're moving into AI system, yeah, and AI records everything, blah, 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 blah. They haven't got the systems in here. They, 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 it's so fucking damn expensive. Even MPs don't actually have proper internals. Most MPs have got gay boy PAs, yeah, because they're sucking them off and, and working for a little bit just for the opportunity. Um, some old women have served their 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 local councillors and, and MPs for years and are lovely people who've, you know, got lovely husbands and, and stuff that, 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 that rape and pillage the children down at the local saunas. But because they're really nice at home and because they're really lovely with their families, they don't touch their kids. They don't touch their own kids. They leave their own kids alone. Unless maybe they can groom them and make sure that they become part of it. And, and that's very different, especially if they go through fraternities or any um, pledge of allegiance and things like that. And a lot of these things have these rituals that they have to go through. And some of that is to rape. Some of that is to... Um, harm some of that is to cause some really horrible nasty things and 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 if you don't think that these people don't do you know like the Ku Klux Klan you know when these Ku Klux Klans and things like that that that, that, that put over their their little hoods do you think that people like this don't exist <laughs> so anyway laughing inside deeply because I'm going to go and check down and find out how many calls have gone through but anyway Really nice people down there, absolutely lovely. Work nights, very tired. They don't really want the shit from me. Nobody wants me kicking off at this system. Nobody wants to put me in a situation where I've finally got to go and buy my pink gun and just shoot people. Yes, it's very easy to track you down. Yes, it's fucking easy for me to track my children down. Why don't I do it? Because I don't know how I'm going to react when the day finally comes that I see my children. That's why I don't do it because I'm not in a situation at the moment to take Aaron and Faith in, hence why I need more rooms, hence why I have to keep moving forward, hence why I have to get more space, hence why I have to keep creating a home environment that's conducive to our personalities. That does, that's not mental health, mate. That's not grandeur. That's not being a narcissist. That's what life is about. <laughs> yeah, you find, you have your plot of land with your birth certificate, fact, and you, you graze your land, you build your land. It's the world around us that's created this upside down world that exists around us that's not even fucking true and I want to get back to the point of why I come on a live tonight because I don't get to stop tonight my schedule's been so kicked out I don't get to stop tonight I still gotta go and sort that stuff out down there I still gotta go and sort things out you know I'm only one person who's got two little toddlers at home that are under five well five and four who's also not living in a house I'm not used to a flat I'll never get used to living in a flat I don't think families and children should ever be in flats I don't agree with social housing with the way that they the whole system works with social workers your teachers at school all of these things and then people think that I'm a bad mother because I don't want to pass my children off I actually saw all of the teachers walking down the road going in there the other day no you going near my children <laughs> got nothing to teach them they've got no life experience they've got no nothing about them they've got no hopes they've got no dreams they don't know their own identity they've got no grounding in any form of things they're not even moved away from daddy's room yet and you know, and then you're asking these people to educate and groom your children to be the whole of them. Well, they can't teach that. It's a fragmented system. I love the fact that my children are so rounded. I'm so sorry that Liam and Daniel never got the opportunity to do this. And I really wanted it for them and for Aaron and Faith. But I'm glad I get to do this for Elijah and Shiloh. And as this progresses, you'll get to see, you know, tomorrow in Portsmouth, it is a closed day. It's the way it is. Go on to... Um, Portsmouth Museum and Art and you'll see that it's closed tomorrow. Um, we've got the dentist this month which is why we're still here um, and it's only hygienist stuff it's only to do all the normal cleans and things like that. 
and both of the boys have got the same problems with the back teeth that I had. I actually had my wisdom teeth taken out and both of the boys have got this fact that I spend a lot of time, by the way, doing this. I don't know if you can see it. So what I'm actually doing... So Amber asked me if I get locked jaw. As it's EDS awareness week. That's why I don't like giving blowjobs. Now Amber's just fallen off her chair. <laughs> and her mum's just walked in. Probably sister and brother going, did she just do that? Don't forget, guys, Amber is in Trinidad. It is Mother's Day today. I am so sorry to Amber's mum, who's missed um, her Mother's Day. She did get a cake, but she's missed her Mother's Day because Amber has been the baseball bat murderer with the trolls today, trying to be humbly and graceful when she wants to whack them with a baseball bat and her umbrella. Um, and even she's probably thinking about pink guns and shooting. And I'm sure with Ukraine and Russia fighting, we're all getting a little bit worried about what could be coming to us in Great Britain, being that too many people have been poking their noses in. And don't think that Putin isn't going to turn around and tell Britain that's in NATO to get the fuck out of his 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 business. And 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 don't think they can't nuke us in a second. So. Um, we should all be able to look after ourselves, shouldn't we? So anyway. It's not difficult for people that have got the um, self-teaching about them. With the time and discipline, I can learn to hack just as great as anybody else's. Now, I need to know if anybody knows where somebody is. Wes. I need Wes. Wes will get into these people's bank accounts in seconds. So I need Wes. Wes will help me out in seconds. I do believe he was over in Spain, but I need Wes. Wes will Wes 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 will do it for me. I know he will, and literally he he will have GoDaddy system checked quite quickly. Um, and also it's VE Day seventy seven. Yes, I do know. Uh, obviously for the D Day, Elijah's been talking about needing to go to the D Day place today as well. This is all stuff that I just can't even get involved in the community while my own home is not in order and. It's in order, but it's not in order to the level that I need it running every week because there's too many interruptions from little fucking idiots, yeah. <sighs> bully boys, just bullies. Do you know what? I reckon it's because really they just want to kiss my ass and be part of my life and they just can't. I wouldn't trust someone like that. Even if this person, when I'm so... After the court case is finished, after this judgment has been done and my gagging order has been done, my compensation's enough for people to go, something bad went wrong there, right? Even if these people want to say sorry to me, you still won't be at my barbecue with my kids, mate. You won't be nowhere near them because they're what I call backstabbing little bitches. They're people that are two-faced. They can't be... There's, look, there's a line, isn't there? And I used to have this argument with my aunties, yeah, before I do this last bit. That when you fall out with someone, there's a line. Dean is probably the only person in the world I have been ever actually told to fuck off or call a girl. <laughs> I wouldn't swear in front of you, Mum. Dean, yeah. Anyway, Dean's Dean. Dean's Dean. He's got his own battles. He's got his own things to go to. He needs a studio. He needs his own studio. He needs his workspace. Um, bless him. Foster care kids, eh? So, anyway, um, I've got to go because I've got so much to do, but I just want to do this quickly, just to prove a point in my house. It's not filthy. So, as I said, I pulled the cushions off. I've left it all there for you on how bad it is there right now. So, this is the inside of my sofa. Oh! <gasps> Look, got all the crumbs from the biscuits in the middle and a couple of the bits there. So I'm going to do with what's called a hoover that just hoovers this little bit out, puts my cushions back, puts them back in a certain way. Don't forget the zips have got to go right at the bottom. The little clippy thing's got to tuck under the side. I'll show you a photograph of exactly how it goes back and how I expect you to sit on my sofa, but it won't look like that by morning, by time... Dean sat on it, kids sat on it, and I've got to put all the pillars back and nobody knows how to put them back. They just throw them on the fucking sofa. But I probably fluff and put them back nearly 19 times a day. So anyway, this is my so-called filthy house. It's not filthy. 
I have a very clean house, thank you very much. This my little ornamental things. I have a very clean house. I'm very anal about it. Um, what I don't have is a big enough house. So anyway, um, love you and leave you with cut and paste bollocks judgments. Um, if you're part of the people that read the judgment and go, oh, oh, <gasps> you just joined the gossip gang. The Bible said, thou shalt not gossip. And those without a vision shall perish. Anyway, I have a vision, so I'm going to get on. I'm going to go down and have a see how the call centre's gone <laughs> See if the blind's going down on me tonight, hey? See you later. Is it Monday it's on? Oh, seriously, no culture, all EastEnders on a Monday. I've been trying to fuss out, suss out what day it is, because on this telly, I've no remote control, by the way, so nothing high specs, by the way, about this little TV thing. Um, it's one that I found outside the skippers, you know. But I don't have a remote control, so it's fucking annoying, because to get to my little thing, I've got to go... Boop, boop, boop. So I don't actually get to know what day anything is on. Oh, I've missed NCSI. 7 megabits per second for the same price as 38. That's just 23... Oh, I just got a standards thing come through. So everyone can enjoy more I just got flashed up with a community standards thing because they flashed at the telly. Let me turn that off in the background because I don't want no standards shutting my lives down. Oh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, EastEnders is on. Oh, my fucking God. Oh, and by the way, this is what I clean with. <laughs> um, so anyway, I've got to go because I've proved my point. The difference between, you know, these keywords of filthiness and, and stuff. And it's not that they lie. It's that they don't know anything other than a cut and a paste. And people don't know anything other than a script and a drama. And you do realise that EastEnders is a script. That's not how people really need to live. Um... I need chocolate. It's Sunday night. I've got to carry on and I will probably be carrying on until about three o'clock this morning now. So no, I won't be up for Monday morning motivation. I can't even turn me fucking live on. Don't even want to turn off. I want it fucking turn off. Go away. Fuck off. Have a nice night. Why is it not turning off? Can't get rid of you. Still there. Oh dear. He's still there. <laughs> oh, shall I show you something? I haven't got changed yet. Oh, it's not even let me flip over or anything. Sorry, neighbours. My legs are killing me. It makes my life easier. And one day I'm going to have a house that I can skate around. down there sort this out on probably a three o'clock in the morning I, boys room i haven't been able to pull everything out when we do it middle room i haven't got the bits that i need out but i haven't got that sorted down there to take them bits down there so that's okay bathroom's done no it's not because the boys have been in it since i've still got toys on my bookshelf um washing up to be done can't wait to get a dishwasher and just a hoover in here and put the sofa back and that's fine and and it depends what i've got to do downstairs how long it takes on how much ironing i get done tonight or whether or not it's just gonna have to stagger or get thrown into next sunday i don't care i don't know so anyway try and get rid of you again fuck off no <laughs> i'm gonna have to turn my phone off right i'm turning my phone off i'll even show you i've got to turn my phone off to do it <laughs> 